Good morning, everybody. I am here at the Ginger Creek Giving Garden, and uh, we just had about 10 people out here this morning helping us here in the garden put up the cattle panel trellises, which are these right here. Um, these are in place so that we can grow our tomatoes up these panels and give them a lot of airflow and grow them vertically so that um, they give us more fruit. Uh, and then I was going through here and Carolyn and Missy were freaking out because I was pinching off the blossoms. Now when your tomatoes are only this big, when they're only about this big, you're not supposed to have blossoms on them. The reason being is it needs to give more energy and production to the plant to get taller, not to produce fruit right now. So let me flip this camera around. And this right here is a blossom cluster right here. So I am going to pinch off this blossom cluster right there like that. Yeah, it seems heartening, disheartening to take that off, but you have to. If we don't get this off, then it will produce, it will push more energy to producing that fruit than it will be to get the plant bigger. And I want the plant to get bigger. I already pinched one off of this plant, but see my plants are only 10 inches. Um, this one's about a foot tall. And they're not, all of them aren't very big yet. So I wanna make sure that these plants are getting big enough that they are going to be strong and sturdy before they set fruit. So we did go through here and pick up all the blossoms on our plants and I will continue to do that so that they put more energy into growing vertically before they start setting fruit. I found another blossom patch. Let me show you. Right here. That's another blossom branch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that right off. So that is some blossoms right there. There's another baby one right here. Take that off as well. See, don't need those on our baby plants right now. I do the same thing for peppers. I pinch off the flowers on the peppers because they need to focus their energy on growing vertically versus growing fruit. Like here's an example. See right here. This little plant, oh my gosh, he already has a fruit. We're gonna take him off too. That might kind of freak people out, but that's okay. We can take him off because it will give us, it'll give more energy to this fruit than it will to get this plant taller. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch off all these blossoms. And these are like little beads. You can just pull them and twist them in your finger and they'll come right off. But I'll go through here and pinch off all these blossoms. Here's more, see? He's under there. He's hiding. I'm going to take him off. Look at these little baby peppers. I'm going to pinch those off too. That freaks people out, but I promise you this plant will produce more peppers if we do this now in an early stage. And a couple more in here. There's a couple over here. So I'll go through all these pepper plants and I'll make sure I pinch off all the blossoms. And um, I'll come back next week and there's going to be a whole other bunch of blossoms, but I'm going to take those off too. Um, we don't want this kind of fruit on our baby plants right now. So I just wanted to share this information with you. I think it's June 12th or 13th. I can't remember. It's Saturday. But we had a beautiful showing today to help people. Everybody came to help in the garden. And um, that's it. I hope you guys have an incredible weekend. I wish you the very best in your gardening adventure. And until the next video, God bless.